do. Sure, let's do it. Uh, Crazy Alchemist is fine. I think either one is fine. Um, let's just have some fun. Let's just go with the two drop. Solid two drop. Sea Giant is good. Darkshire Councilman or Hellfire? Let's go with the Councilman for now. Earthen Ring. Brute. Earthen Ring Brute. Earthen Ring Brute. Been burned by Ogre Brute too many times. Let's go with the PO. Let's go with the Yeti here. Uh, I like one drops in uh in Warlock. I guess it's Doom. I guess we're taking Doom. <laughs> guess we're taking Doom. All right, it's that kind of deck, huh? Uh, either Balfin Tide Hunter or Karo Kazam is fine. We have one. Two. We don't have enough twos yet. It's probably the Bobfin Tide Hunter, actually. Demon Fire? Sure. Doom Guard? Sure. Oh man, that guy with his uh, six silverware golem play. It's the first time I've ever seen something like that. Yeah, unfortunately, that's not a possessed villager. I don't like a possessed villager. And we have a possessed villager, so I'll take it. <laughs> Flame Jaguar. Nice. Zombie Chow. Great pickup for us. Kara Kazam. So now we have two Kara Kazams. Uh, mech Warper. Do we have any? Yeah, we have a mech. Floating Watcher. I guess we could use this as something big. We don't really have any big cards. One, two, one, two, three. Yeah, maybe just a big card. Take it. Take a pyro here. It's pretty good. Dark Peddler is definitely the best card. Uh, on a scale from one to ten, how do you rate Karakazam? Um, it's okay. It's like a, it's like a six or something. Shattered Sun, excellent. Man, we really need threes and fours. Honestly, it, it, I don't mind the Cult Master here. I really don't. I think that's it. Um, we're getting a little bit too small here. Ah. Maybe that's wrong. Let's just go fast. I will go with the Arcano Smith here. We'll just delay a little bit. Uh, another Demon Fire. We have a Menagerie Magician. Not enough. Go with the uh, Demon Fire again. I'll go with the Hellfire now. Um, AoE is always pretty nice to have. We're probably going to be the ones doing the AoE, but. Alright, well, we have some Demons. We have two there. Well, not that many, but so it's either second Hellfire or the Void Caller. Void Caller actually gives us another turn four play that's not as conditional as Hellfire, so I'll go with it. Plus, it's got some upside with Dean. Probably still annoy Tron. We need the Taunt. Dread Infernal, yes. Synergize with Void Caller, just a good card. MC Tech. If we get flooded. Your soul shall be mine. This is an aggro deck. Take good one. Um, a Noitron also fits in aggro decks. Noitron is fine. You don't need to think of a Noitron as a purely defensive card. Ugh, 
please don't Stormforge Dax. Eh, that works with our upcoming card. Get it out! Get it out! Is this really necessary? Okay, he's on his turn three. We have a three, three, and a one, one. It's okay. Jennifer Go, Go Face SM Work says, I didn't use my prime sub on you. Sorry, boys. I failed you. Don't worry about it. Not a problem at all. Just uh, happy you're here watching the channel. Yeah. Uh, for I mean, just uh, to everyone who's been watching these days, and uh, for those of you who have subbed, thank you guys so much. It's just fun streaming, man. It's tons of fun. I think we try to go for the upside play here. Next turn, we could do something like, uh, you know, your power to two. He could kill this off with some extra damage. Okay. He used a crackle on that, so, you know, that's one initiative out of his hand that's been used. Okay. Hate this, as long as he doesn't. Okay. Well, look, Crazed Alchemist, pretty good card here, right? Pretty freaking good card. You love my new recipe. Well played. If he has a fire elemental here, he definitely plays it. So. So you could peel here and just sort of say, okay, you could tap, do some like a Noitron play. Almost out of time. Don't Let's not get super fancy here. We have some advantage. If you tap and you get something like Doom, then your turn is super weak there. Double Hex. Pretty nice. Preserve nine attack on the board. I like that. Why aren't frogs demons? I know. Why aren't things the way that I want them to be all the freaking time, man? That's my question. Damn, yo. Okay. Let's do this. Why is a Noitron so annoying? It's pretty good at doing that, isn't it? Stupid Taunt Totem. 
We have a board. It's pretty big. Let's do something with it. I wonder. Alright, no moves for Okay. <laughs> Let's not know ourselves. I don't think that's a good idea. Probably. You know? Deal. Yeah, these two cards are useless for us, for our purposes anyways. That's fantastic. Ten. Okay. Just uh, taunt totem. No taunt totem? Yep, that's smart. Uh, Miyabi Ninyo, uh, thank you so much for subscribing with Twitch Prime. Welcome to the Grinning Goat, man. Appreciate it. Uh, 5, 10, 13, not lethal, right? Not lethal there. Uh, you know what? Let's get rid of these. D. game can we make a 500 i certainly hope so we get new emotes at 500 if discarded doom should do something that'd be cool man if just even if it's just like a uh, fancy animation right Ugh. Let's just win off of uh, Flame Juggler. Uh, let's just win off of everything. Okay, I guess we can lose. This is fine, and then if he chooses to ping. Otherwise, you coin out the Flame Juggler. No. Get the zombie challenge turn one. getting the old two for one the old two for one value here um let's do this shattered sun might do something next oh yeah shattered sun we must cleanse the sun Sure, let's give you, uh, let's give you stealth. Broly, uh, no, the 1-1 one -one spawn is not a demon. I wish it was. It would be much more powerful if it was. Oh, please put down two more minions. Damn it. <laughs> Sorry, I guess we just put out our 5-mana 8-8. Bell Reaver without the downside. Thank you so much. Mm. That is damn good for him. Fellow seeker of truth. I should just do this. Fine. Put this apple 
Face. Face is the place. <clears throat> no Thalens portal. Sometimes I forget things. Let's count. That's eleven. That's lethal. Yes. <laughs> Pretty good hellfire there, right? <laughs> that was pretty tasty, man. Yeah, so, um... For those of you asking, like, well, it's kind of the same thing, right? Um, both the Floating Watcher... Like, both the Floating Watcher and the, um... Doom Guard kind of moves out to Firelands Portal as well, but I can't, if you're templating out a Doom Guard with the 2-3 on the board, you're losing two cards, it's just, you're losing so much there. Can't do it. I think we would just want stronger two drops. Like, I, I don't want to put that out on turn two. Uh. All right. Get it out. Get it out. I basically, yeah, I want stronger two drops, or I want chances to draw into like Zombie Chow or Flame Mim, right? Possess Monger is fine on turn one, but I would obviously rather have the uh, Flame Mim or Zombie Chow. And then on turn two, I just don't want to settle for that hand, essentially. Resolve this trait because on turn two he could just uh, ping here and then go face right, and we wouldn't be able to do anything with it. So this is good for us. Now we can hit this to deal three damage at random. I don't know. Like I'm, I'm sure during very clutch situations that might be the play. Probably not going to be the play next turn. Thank you. Chaos. Do you like to play with fire? You love my new recipe. Yeah, I'll switch it. Probably wants to ping this turn. So. Like, he played that really fast. So, if he wants to ping, I want to deny him to ping. If he doesn't want to ping, I want him to ping, right? It's always something like that. Yep. Please give me a play. Uh, look, man. That's, uh. That's something there. Ooh, okay. We got something we got something spicy set up here. This is some some spicy stuff. Do this, it hits something. It's nice, man. I like it. Finally, a second okay. chance. I am ready. Nope, no spiciness. Not gonna let it happen, guys. Don't rush me. Ah, 
I like spicy. I like spicy food too, man. Man, I was really ready for the PO on the uh, on the guy. Oh well. Get shrekt. You could do PO here, but. Clutch heal here. Uh, he's going to Firelands Portal turn. He can't Firelands Portal this guy. Or I guess. Oh, okay. Fireball. All right. Can't play around everything, guys. Yeah, I think we do it. God, just put pressure on his face. P.O. and Demon Fire. I like that we kept the minion. Um, man, I really wanted that P.O. though. Yeah, those are those are both cards I wanted to keep. It's disappointing. He's portaling. Oh God, no. This is why I freaking hate. Okay. We must cleanse the sun well. Gotta kill it off. I can't. I can't have him flame strike and then just gain that much HP. You know. Yeah. That's the thing. So, some people ask me, Murps, do you still enjoy playing the arena? It's so frustrating. Yeah, it's pretty frustrating sometimes, but. I still play it in my spare time. Like, I still play a lot of Hearthstone even while I'm not streaming, so I obviously still enjoy it to a large extent, right? Um, the thing I don't like is just, it's all about the Swashburglar RNG, it's all about the Babylon Book RNG, um, the Firelands Portal RNG now. Um, and it is still fun, and skill is obviously still involved in the game. Otherwise, you wouldn't have players uh, that continue to go infinite, right? But it is it is frustrating because these are RNG factors that are impossible to play around. Like, um, yeah. I swear there's more fireballs than there used to be. I don't know. I definitely remember every single one. <laughs> I thought for sure he was slow rolling. I, I did too. Yeah. Cleric is putting so much work this run. Yep. Cleric in um, a faster zoo deck situation is just fantastic. We'll just play Arcane Anomaly here. If he chooses to ping, he chooses to ping, and then we can get on the board safely. I'll show them. Hmm. I'll show them all. Okay. Murps, hopefully after all the outrage post cares and the next few expansions will be RNG and light and amazing. Yeah, that's what I'm really hoping for, you know? That is truly what I am hoping for. Okay. I 
mean, whether it was vaporized or ice barrier or whatever, it doesn't really change anything for me. I'm really glad it was ice barrier. That's that's so good for us. So many mages makes arena no fun. I enjoy raiding. I wow. <laughs> Holy moly. You could do floating watchers. So you could either coin out the Dread Infernal this turn. So bop bop. Let's try this. This, is, this has a lot more upside here. Because he pings here, he has four mana to deal with. If you play something a little bit subpar, like a three drop, you could bop bop and then Dread Infernal. And it's so sick. Okay. I guess we're not playing the, uh... Huh. Get him! Got an eight eight minion. We got uh we got some stuff going. Okay, he polymorphs. We're a little bit sad here. Sure. We're just gonna go in here. He was holding that pine, why didn't he use it last turn? I'm not sure. But he can't flame strike. Well he can, but it's not the best play from him. He can't portal, definitely. He could do that. It's pretty annoying for us, actually. Damn that ordering. Well now. Five ten. Hit. Hit. versus Jaina. You asked for it. Your soul shall be mine. Okay. I think it's a little bit too... <laughs> You're keeping two cards for a turn four play. It's just, it's a little bit too... Uh, wow, this is good. Yeah, this is a much better hand. I think we... Yeah, yeah. I think this is the hand that we're liking here. Okay, I'm so happy with this hand. Now just ping the 1-1 one because one, you're a slow mage and you got nothing. What deck does Doom fit? I think it'd be more like a zoom like Warlock, so you could make two off of Warcling. Yeah, it doesn't really fit into anything. <laughs> um, I mean, uh, for some control aspects, it can fit, you know? So, it, it being like a sort of a mid rangey thing. Ooh. about this they are bent to my command Ooh. 
Oh god, there's such a there's such a good play here if I can guarantee that the floating watcher comes out first. So if I can't, it sucks. It's good to see you again. BXB Hulk, 11 months, says, Hey Murps, how's it going? Uh, I'm doing well, man. Thanks for coming back for 11 months in a row. Super appreciate it, man. Believe? I know. I'm hoping you guys saw what I saw as well. Um, you just can't take that risk. It's too... Ugh. It's too bad because it was so good, you know. Feed the fish, land lover. Dead Reno, Cappuccino. Uh, Hill Sling and Sling in. Uh, God, I can't pronounce words. Uh, thank you for subbing with Twitch Prime. Welcome to the Green and Goat, man. Appreciate the support. Um, thank you guys so much. Like, uh, these days, just. Well, we've had so many subs. We've increased from like 200 and like below 250 to now basically 450. So we've basically doubled in subs in the past week. Um, but yeah, no, guys, thank you so much, uh, for using, you know, your, uh, your Twitch Prime token on us. Feeling the love, guys. Thank you. This deck is destroying mages. Yeah, we're fast. We're, we're definitely faster than mages. Which is good. What can you do when, when the Warlock goes face? You're gonna value... You're gonna play your little value game? Doesn't work. To be honest though, we've been getting pretty lucky. Some mages just have like the Frostbolt into Flame Cannon into like blah blah blah. And you get to turn six and they still have 25 HP or something. I don't want to keep the buff in Tidehunter for the uh, Dark Shark Councilman, so we'll just do this. That would be not so good for us. This is fine for us. So we'll do this. We're hoping that this hits either our face. The one five is fine too. It's not great, but listen, we um if he's if he has to ping, I think we're okay with it. Can I light your fire? We should trade here. It's pretty good for us. Now, we're afraid he has the second Twilight Flame Caller, right? If he has the second Twilight Flame Caller, he could play that coin, the ping as well. And then we're kind of sad about that. Oh, so close. Get it out! Get it out! Here. Not clearing. This loses, or it's not great against Blizzard, but 
he has to coin the blizzard here. And I'm gonna take that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Do it. You got nothing, man. Crip read out subs for 30 solid minutes. Well, I'm pretty sure Crip got like five bazillion new subs. <laughs> Sorry, dude. Amazing. Turn six lethal? Yup. Do me trade. Nope. Me go face. Just, man. Oh God, stop it. Um, buff and Tidehunter is a week two going second against the mage. I want, um, this is fine. Slightly better hand. But I want Zombie Chow, I want Flame Imp, I want those cards. Okay. Wordy1323. Thanks for subbing with Twitch Prime. Welcome to the Grinning Goat. Hope you enjoy your stay here. Appreciate the support. Get it out! Get it out! We must cleanse the Sunwell. I gotta see if it's vaporized first. I'll miss out on the one damage. Just to see if it's vaporized. It's not vaporized. We must cleanse the sun well. So we missed out on the damage there, but I had to see if it was vaporized. Because if it was vaporized, I don't want to buff first and then do that. If it's vaporized, then you go into it and then you buff up this guy. Two of these, I don't wanna like what I just don't care. <laughs> Plus, uh he's gonna use this up this turn anyway, so we probably want Can I light your fire? But this is what twenty flame call are so sick. They like when Blizzard designed these cars, I'm just like, why, why, why? <laughs> you love my new recipe. No, this could still be healed, I guess. Toasty. You could also think about flipping this. I'm a little bit afraid of buffs and everything. Like, I want to keep this relatively healthy. Because what you could do is hit here and actually... Hmm. Dang, Murph, super aggro today. We can't play the value game against the mage. And plus, we have power overwhelming in our hand, right? Just got to be aggressive here. We have Hellfires. We have a Doom Guard to draw into. We got some sources of damage here. <laughs> Duplicate and effigy are both I real.
Your magic shall not save you. Okay. We'll still get the face damage in. The ice block is really annoying here. We're not beating Flame Strike here. Oh god, Flame Strike. No, not Flame Strike. It's not the worst. Flip Fugan Hellfire. Uh, the egg still presents a problem. You're either flipping the egg or you're flipping like <laughs> another twenty flame claw. Okay. So I'm impressed he's sitting on two board clears for this long. It's just I can't find too many great opportunities to use them. I still want the aggression that we're putting out there, you know? So the secret is ice block? Yeah, it's ice block. Draw as many cards as possible. Get three face damage. It's ice block, so that won't work. I just want as much uh, as much cards as possible without overdrawing. Hello, hello, hello. We have 
six. Wanted, dead or alive. That's a good one. I like that. Shadow step is great for us. It's basically heal for three more. Pretty good. So Doomguard has to come out this turn to kill him, or to hit that. What else do we want here? Gotta survive two turns because that's block. Oh god. Uh, so you can get Forgotten Torch here. Forgotten Torch would win it for him. Three cards left in the can deck. Can I light your fire? Silly. Grab a heal. Almost out of time. Yeah, because if he flame strikes, you're dead anyway. So you might as well put that out there. Well played. Well played. God damn. What a game, man. That was absolutely disgusting. We actually lost versus a double ice block. Well done versus Thrall. For Doomhammer, your soul shall be mine. Flame Jaguar is good. No, oh, Zombie Chow is good. Pro Staff says, My friend, I just played you. 
GG, that was a crazy game. Very crazy game, man. Good game. Oh my god. Well, let's hope he does not get the, uh... I think this is fine. He is able to take out the 1-1, but it reduces the chance that he, like, you know, uh, basically totems and then ticks out our 3-3. Three, three. It's fine. Okay, this is for the game. We're still gonna play this. I mean, we still want to temple out, and there's always a chance that he's able to, uh, you know, just grab a totem. So we'll play this. Hope to curve out. Didn't happen. All right. Well, that's something, right? Unfortunately, we have no demons. We'll give him the HP. He's gonna get it eventually, and uh, this three health could matter at some point. Kara Kazam here. Uh, B50 Kyle Brazy says, I have a flight in two hours and this helps pass the time. Nice, man. I don't think we want a floating watcher here just yet. So let's show it Scarab. Greetings, friend. Yeah, let's just spread out. Don't mess with us. Get it out! Get it out! Do some trading here. This guy's a little bit dangerous, but we'll just go face afterwards. Got a decent board here. We are not afraid of that thing. I see yes. Suck steel. Yeah. Clear that. I want every opportunity uh, for the 6-6 six -six to survive. Still dangerous. The Yormonger is pretty great for taking care of that. Okay, it's fine. He's still taking the face damage, which uh, we are a huge fan of. The problem is he still has five mana to play around with. Okay. Heal here. Um go face obviously not gonna mess around with that um this taunt is great the reason i'm playing the earthen ring instead of hero power blood from raptor is the three three body actually does something here right bring some fish? i don't know if that was the best position to put it in if it was a flame tongue totem i think he would have wanted it like on the silent night here oh wait it's been nerfed <laughs> never mind never mind so that doesn't matter got it Got it, buddy. So, we got this Doom here. It's pretty good. <laughs> the glorious nerf, I know. I don't see too many advantageous trades for us to make just using these two guys, you know? Sure. He should clear here. We'll doom to grab seven cards. That's okay, you know? Meh. I'll take it. 
top decks playing lust. <laughs> Hopefully not, man. Oh, the doom. Get wrecked. <laughs> what? What did I say about doom not not doing anything this deck? It's it's everything to this deck. God, thank you, doom. <laughs> oh yeah. All right. Yeah. Use up your ass. That's great. That's a good card. That's a good card. That's a good card. That's a good card. That's a great card. <laughs> it's getting hot in here. Domze, hmm. thank you for subbing with Twitch Prime. Welcome to your Grinning Goat Man. Appreciate the support. I think we need to go even faster. I'll take like a Shattered Sun. I'll take, um, this is fine. Tempo. We're going for it. Let's pick up the uh, Doom Guard next turn. You want to cast a spell? I want to cast a spell. Don't face. Not not messing around with that. He could Dark Iron Dwarf, and that kind of sucks, but it's okay. Dark Iron Dwarf only kills off for 3-3. Three, three. Knowledge is power, and I know a lot. You love my new recipe. It's good tempo. All right, now all we gotta do is draw, um, draw like a Dread Infernal or something. I don't know. Draw something. Draw something sick. Stop, Stop babbling book. Stop babbling book, man. Stop booking. Seven, ten, twelve. Sure. <laughs> 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 That's 
pretty cool. Just gotta rush down these mages, man. Gul'dan versus Thrall. For Doomhammer, your soul shall be mine. Yeah, we gotta be much more aggressive. Oh, that's rough. That is super rough. Terrible hand here. We need something much faster. Every single game that we don't get a one drop, we are super behind. We have four one drops in this game, and we try to aggressive pretty. Uh, damn it. We try mulligan pretty aggressively for them, but it doesn't always work. I guess this plus the zombie chow just once again tempo out. What happened? I mean, you could just play MCT, but. I think we need to hope for a better draw next turn. Because th this sets it up for us maybe drawing into the Void Call or, or maybe drawing into the Mech Yeti, right? I think we have to have a little bit of faith in, in the deck. Policy boy, thanks for subbing with Twitch Prime. Welcome to the Green and Goat. Appreciate the support. We're past 450. Nice, uh, Policy boy. Appreciate uh, the support, man. Thank you. Heart Murps, Policy boy. Here's a here's a heart for you too, man. Thank you so much. All right, flood, flood. But okay, so like wisp, wisp, wisp. Four mana, seven, seven. No, he said no. Kerakazam's a decent pickup for us. Don't MCT us, bro. I like Karakazam. Karakazam definitely fits into this deck, right? We're we're sort of flood board oriented. It's nice. Hmm. One day I'll be a real nice. Oh, okay. That's something I am totally okay with. That's something I am not that okay with. But it's okay, guys, because you know what's going to happen. You know what's going to happen here, okay? You know what's going to happen. You know what's going to happen? Oh, yeah! <laughs> oh, my God. Stop. 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 Oh, God. I'm so good at this game. What are you doing? Ah, oh, come on, man. I just got that. I just got that. You're not even going to let me use it. That's messed up, man. <laughs> I just joined in to witness that. Dude, it's... So skillful. <laughs> it's so skillful. This is a skilled game, guys. Oh man. <sighs> it's all about the confidence, you know? You display confidence and uh and Hearthstone responds in kind. Is this zombie chow gonna live from turn two? That would be the sickest thing. You love my new recipe. 
No, he's about to kill Michelle. Super sad. Super sad. I guess we just win. Uh, eight plus six. Yeah. I guess we just win. <laughs> Uh, Green Go, I just joined. Could you describe your deck for just a second? Sure. Um, if you want sort of a deck analysis, like how to win. Um, with these, you'll see, if you look in the previous games, and my attitude going forward is always, um, we need to aggressively fish for our one-drops. Because we have extremely powerful one-drops, with the exception of Arcane Anomaly. But with the coin, it's still pretty powerful. Um, our two drops are okay, like they hold us over, and our three drops are meh. So we, if we don't get the power turn on turn one, um, our turn two and turn three are sometimes meh, right? And a lot of our turn three plays, well not a lot, but like two of our turn three plays are sort of conditioned on us having strong early game plays. For example, with the Shattered Sun, uh, you obviously want something on the board to take advantage of that. The Earthen Ring Farseer, I'd say like 50% of the time, if you're... You know, if you've got a varied board, uh, you have something out there to heal, so that's pretty good. Um, but we, our win condition is honestly just curving out and being as aggressive as possible. Um, because yes, the Warlock has sustain, but um, you know, even if you get quote punished by by them making a good trade, by them getting a Dark Iron Dwarf on you, if unless it's like totally debilitating. You take that. Like you're you're sort of okay with it. Because we do have reach in this deck. Right, we're going first. I'll keep a peddler though. It's just a little bit too good. Um, but we're hoping for a one drop. Don't get it. This sucks. Yeah, that sucks. Peddler is just a little bit too good. It helps us curve out and smooth everything out significantly. Shield Scarab is probably better here, actually. Shadow Bolt is great. It gives us an option that we never had before. Um, we really want this removal. Alright, I'm a little bit scared now. Maybe like an Iron Fur Grizzly to stop us. Okay, no Iron Fur Grizzly. I think Shadow Bolt here is absolutely fine. We do this, we stop the aggression. He coins it out. He has to find something else on turn three, right? He could have double that, but I doubt it. Come midnight. Nope, he has something better. Damn, yo. I kind of want to hit here. Let's see what happens. Take the coil. Put this out too. This is fine. The coil will help us out. So we know it's not snipe. Well, obviously it's not snipe because they took that away. We know it's not snake trap. We know it's not freezing trap. Um, that is scary, man. Be cat trick, any of the, those things. I, I just don't think we can take the damage. That's super ugly. I just don't think we can take the damage. This chain of events is just so clutch. 
So explosive. I mean, it could also be something like misdirection or whatever as well, but I think we can afford to just take take a turn. I wonder what it is. I have no idea what the secret could ever be, you know? It's crazy. Draw some cards. He'll he will hero power. We'll draw some cards, and uh, we still have. I'm um, honestly just developing the teapot here. Oh, I can't play it. That sucks. <laughs> Mistakes were made, man. Position that we're in. Tadingo. Yes. Turn. It's getting hot in here. Why wouldn't you do that first? Should have done that first, probably. I guess he knew he had nothing to draw into. It's fine. Oh man. That's the problem with going all in on explosive uh explosive trap. You just sort of like He basically gave us turns to get ready, right? He thought like, well, I'm getting two damage on his face every single turn, but he's giving us options every single turn. Um and I'm playing the Carol Kazam mostly just for the three one, but hey I get to develop a three one body. Um, and that's fine. He, like, he basically just gives me, um, he basically just gives me the board, uh, in that state. Hoping we have... Demon fire on. Why can't you guys be demons, man? Why can't you be a demon? You kind of look demonic. Wait, he's eating. That's the buff that it's called. Eating. Now, if he doesn't play anything, this kind of sucks, but we just have to. We, we gotta go, man. You know? Just gotta go. Nice. Demon fire, do your thing.
dream turn one. I, I don't know if that's exactly the dream on turn one. It's pretty good though. I'm hoping we get another two drop so we could do something like demon fire plus a two. I'll settle for a four drop as well. It's fine. Let's see if he has a two drop. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is fantastic for us. Um It's actually probably Flesh Eating Ghoul here and not Dark Shire Councilman. Um, because if we think about this, that, that, mm -hmm. we're gonna care Kazam. Stuff is gonna die. Like, we're not gonna summon stuff past a certain point. It's probably Flesh Eating. Spectacular. It is pretty spectacular. I agree, man. Darkshire has more health. Yeah, but you immediately get the uh, the attack on the flesh eating ghoul more. Yeah, unfortunately, I think it's time to say goodbye to. Uh... I want a cleaner board here. We're super ahead. Let's not give him anything to buff. Um, let's take advantage of that health, you know? I think we're, we're ahead enough that we can afford to trade there. It's a little, I mean, like, yeah, we give him the five health with that, but I think it's a little, <laughs> I, I don't think you can expect it to live, you know? Let's grab another three drop. Let's just get all the power out on the board. We keep this guy, obviously. If we cast a spell, he, you know, he grows. Um, we're just so ahead right now. What's bad for us, though? Uh... Ancient of War is not great for us. We have to trade everything in. But then again, if you Ancient of Wars, we Flesh Eating Ghoul Yeti. This is fine. Go Bomber Go. Uh, thank you for subbing with Twitch Prime. Appreciate the, uh, the support. Welcome to the channel, man. Yeah, so over here... So, like, over here, I'm much happier that we took this instead of um, the Darkshire Councilman, right? Um, would I rather have a 2-5 in this instance that can grow, or just an immediate threat? I'll take the immediate threat here. Uh, Agnosticism! Welcome to the Grinning Goat. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate it. Yeah, let's just start to grow this thing. Uh, agnosticism, appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Fatties for days, yep. It's fine though, we have our own fatty out. Druids have a tough time dealing with a board like this. Join the pack. Damn, bro. That's pretty sick.
Good part, great part. Really happy with this part. What to do? <laughs> he needs something else to survive. Engaging TC-130, mental dislocator. You love my new recipe. Yes. We must cleanse the sunrise. <laughs> Not everyone can MCT like Murphs, okay? Let me tell you guys, food that's been left out for like five hours doesn't taste as good. Pro tip for you guys. Versus Jaina. Let's get our one drops. Let's zerg them down. Your soul shall be mine. I don't like how we're going second. I like the flame imp though. Flame imp is good. You wanna cast a spell? I wanna cast a spell. It's not great. Maybe pings here, we're okay with it, I guess. This is why Babylon Book is so annoying. It pairs so well with the ping, you know? Why? He really wants to preserve his stuff. Like, why wouldn't you just ping there? Why wouldn't you just ping here, too? Weird place. Grab something solid here. He's setting up for quick shot value. Yep. Okay. We're the ones getting beat down. It's a little bit unfortunate, but uh. He's had good spells. Gotta try to equalize. Let's see, what will be good from here? 20 Flame Collar, we'd be pretty annoyed at because he could just 20 Flame Collar, ping the 2 2, and just keep on going face, right? Because there's no need to clear on our end. He has six Firelands portal, he doesn't need value. He probably doesn't, man. Oh, crap. 
That's all right. MCT off the top. Nope. Not going to let us get that. Four, eleven, fifty. <laughs> He's basically got lethal right there. <laughs> what can we do about this, right? I what can you really do about this? CT. That's our only win condition now, honestly. If he wants to ping here, he drops something. We have to MCT next turn, essentially. Like, he has to have a weak turn, we have to MCT. Nothing in our deck takes care of a 3-mana 8-8, eight, eight, obviously. So, let's do it. Okay. He's gotta be MCT this turn. Nope. Doom! Alright, we're dead. We are dead. Too good, man. You win this time. He got out to a faster start than we did. That's death for us. Absolute death. <coughs> All right. Let's do this. Uh, Merps, I finally had time to watch a Dragon Mage run last night, but I fell asleep and woke up with a dead phone. Someday I'll watch it. No problem, man. It's a fun run. I hope, uh, I hope you do get to watch it. Wow! 11 win Warlock versus 11 win Warrior. What a world we live in, guys. Yeah, our chances of winning decrease significantly whenever we don't draw one. It's kind of sad. I, d I can't toss Peddler, though. It's just a little bit too good. I need the Coil. We have very few ways to ping or just to deal damage in this deck. It's uh, very necessary here. We must cleanse the... We must cleanse the sun well. Pretty afraid. We should expect we Fool's Bane, definitely. The sun well. Definitely expect Fool's Bane. Um, that's a bit scary for us. Um, we're not putting exactly enough pressure on his face. It's all from missing one drops. It's really just uh, about missing those one drops, man. So close. Two, two, one. Sure. We need the taunt. Let's kill this guy. This guy's more annoying. So if he has a Fool's Bane, he should play here. I th well, let's see his turn, right? I'm, I'm totally expecting Fool's Bane, though. Blood to Icker. Some, like, Ravaging Ghoul. No, Execute. Okay. We have to be 
Fanta here. Dragon Form was fine. He takes the power off his board. He had eight power, now he only, only has uh, five. Two minute execute is still good. It's still really good. Wow. If he's trading, we're okay with it though. You're just afraid if he's not trading, I think. Oh yeah, we're okay with this. It's good. We're uh we got a board. PO is fantastic. I'm guessing he just hasn't drawn his fool's bane yet. Otherwise, I don't know how a warrior makes it this far without weapons, right? He's gotta have some pretty sick weapons. He might have like I don't know, even something really good like a Gorehow, but Gorehow sucks here, so... Alright, Fiery War Axe, but at this point, it's not... That's fine. That is fine. We're totally okay with this. This is something, like... We're, we're so okay with this. Yep, you kill the 3-3, and all this stuff doesn't really matter. Sure, dude. Get it out! Get it out! No. We just gotta dodge MCT on his end. Dodged. Officially dodged, guys. Smart. Yeah, I want extra bodies out on the board. We have lethal next turn? Yeah, we do. Did it, guys! Yay! Cool. Pretty good. Man, the difference between this deck and our previous deck, the one that didn't go 12 with the mage, it's so apparent. Like, we can be the aggressors here. With the other ones, we're just like, alright, we're gonna out like out control you, out decision you. <sighs> but that's where like deck like those mages that we beat, all those freaking mages that we beat, um uh they like Basically, our mage, when we played that slow, we let their deck quality shine through, right? Like, how many uh, times did we beat a mage by turn 6 or turn 7? Um, Cass, thanks for the 120 bits! Cass says, grats on your 12 win Warlock Murps, thank you. So, going back to the game that we lost against, um, against the mage with the double ice block. That was, that was an interesting game. Um... So, I know a lot of you guys are saying I should have popped the egg. And I want extra cards, but that was probably wrong. That was probably wrong there. I'm glad it didn't hurt us in terms of getting the 12 wins. It was just tough. Like, I wanted as much cards as possible because I wanted to definitely draw into, like, the removals and the Arcano Smiths. It's hard there. I don't know. I guess it's not worth it at that stage, but we still had a chance. I definitely wasn't expecting double ice block there.